Okay, here's a look at Dr. Wu's MC03 Little Monster, which is their version of a live action movie wheelie. And so, first, let's uh, just take a close up look at the box. Here's the front of the package with the nice drawing of wheelie. Back of the box with some product images, and you can see how detailed this is. You could send the side of the box with the drawing of the vehicle, other side drawing of the figure, top of the box, movie collector, bottom of the box with the QR code you can scan if you want, which I did have to kind of refer to because this uh, transformation is a little bit uh, tricky and can get frustrating. But other things you get with this figure is a really nice uh, collector's card. And um, I laugh because um, there's no way to get all of the characters from the movie unless you, you know, buy the Takata version and other companies make it. So as nice as this is on this nice uh, plastic uh, um it's uh yeah it's just not going to have all the characters but with that said let's uh zoom in and take a close-up look at this figure which i'm telling you in my opinion um i think this is a masterpiece that fits in with your live action movie masterpiece figures because of the um uh, all the detail, I mean, look at all the detail, the paint, and uh, the scale also. And when I say scale, um, let's see, one way I can give you an example. I mean, this is almost like an oversized masterpiece. Because here, this is uh, the Legendary Toys uh, Bumblebee. So back out so we can see and uh, you can see Wheelie he should actually be still a little bit smaller and for another scale that's why I brought out the Human Alliance uh, Michaela so you can see it's too big it's like oversized but nonetheless because of all the detail the paint the engineering design, even the quality of the plastic feels like an official um, product because it has a good mixture of soft and hard plastic, not like uh, Magic Square soft plastic or hard plastic that breaks like x transpots. So that's just a, a scale here so you can see. So I'm saying masterpiece oversized masterpiece and um, other scale there here is the studio series version and this is what it should be to be really cartoon I mean uh, movie accurate so let's take a look there is a nice Michaela I don't know how close I can get here but and that's pretty amazing how they even painted the eyes red so yeah, uh, you can see this is right here like masterpiece. Third party can actually um, benefit from making some of these small figures because you're not able to get these uh, figures anymore unless you collecting all along and um, like collected the Human Alliance figures because these figures go really nice with the masterpiece movie series. So, that's just a couple of comparisons. And another comparison is with the actual official 2009 Legends version of uh, Wheeling. And this is interesting because they are actually like the same size. But now you could see what I was talking about, masterpiece, I mean, Look at all the detail here and the uh, paint finish and um, yeah, but 
this was a legends like only five dollars i think at the time and this one unfortunately i paid more from getting it from the chosen prime to get it my shipping that day but again they didn't ship it until the third day so i ended up paying more and got my item shipped the day the next day so i should have just stuck with uh, paying less at chosy store but it's still there and this is a really cool figure so with all that said let's take a look at some other things that uh, you get um obviously you get uh, the instructions, which I didn't go over. And so I wanna go over that now really quick because this is a, a little bit difficult to transform. And so maybe this might help to have reference. So you can just pause and um, use this as reference. And uh, again, this is like a, a masterpiece in my opinion. And um, all these, they have, they designed it really well when you have, with all these like tabs that tab in and um, yeah, I think they did a really good job. And <laughs> so now let's actually transform the figure and take a look at the robot mode. So now let's uh, zoom in so I can just kind of show you um, some details. So what I'm talking about, like, see his hands here? You see that little slot there? They even cut it out so the tip of his fingers can go in there. That's, what, that's just an example of what I'm talking about, how they carefully thought out all these things for the detail. This came on tab, but you see these two arms, shoulders, they actually do tab in. So this is what I'm talking about. This really is like masterpiece. They really did a good job. Even the screws, look at that. Instead of pins, uh, they actually use screws, tiny screws. So I'm telling you, um, I'm really amazed and surprised that Dr. Wu can make such a quality uh, figure like this. I didn't know that. But anyways, to transform the figure, okay, this is how I do it. So you can see here that it comes untabbed. Um, so one of the challenges though is these tabs, they are a little bit difficult to untab. So you can see that tab right there. Once you get it untabbed, then you can extend it on this double hinge, uh, which is gonna form his feet. So I like to get it all set up first. So do the same on this side. This is a little hard to get it untabbed, which here it's maybe a good thing because um, that way in vehicle mode, it does stay tabbed in. So I got it untabbed. And then um, on the double hinge, like extend it and then flip it around. You can see how he's all scrunched up there. So let's back out a little here. Now we can um, pull out his arms, but got to point out, see this uh, silver piece? It does tab in there. See, so I'm taking the time to show you how well, they carefully thought this all out. So it actually tabs in, so it stays in very securely. They're not relying on friction to just hold it in place. To get that, you could see this ball joint here. Um, then you can maybe go ahead and extend these arms straight. Do it on both sides. <laughs> they even use a screw for his thumb. My gosh, I'm telling you, this is... I'm really, really amazed with this figure. Okay, so like I said, just want to kind of get everything set up first. And then here, this part's tricky, but you need to extend this leg. And, well, that one came pretty easy, but there is um, somehow that tabs in somewhere where I don't know, maybe it tabs in there. Okay, and then you can extend this foot. And then 
this piece over piece does rotate to form his uh, heel. So now you just adjust that accordingly to form his leg, something like that, where it can touch. And then do the same on the other side. Okay, yeah, see it tabs in somewhere, I, I don't know. But extend that, bring down his foot, and then here, rotate this to form his uh, heel. Um, and then just uh, adjust this accordingly. So I guess you can just kind of adjust it all at the end. But then here you want to push this up to form his uh, crotch area and then bring down his legs. So let's see, something like that. Now we kind of got his legs. And like I said, the, the heels, you just adjust all this accordingly. Okay, now I'll straighten up all of this. So this headpiece, look at, I'm gonna show you again, you untab this, look at that. They even take the time where you can tab that in to lock in the back, which forms his uh, face. And his neck is on this double hinge that you can push forward, then lift up this uh, front part of the canopy here and turn it 90 degrees so that you could rotate these two side pieces so you're going to rotate it so that they're facing forward uh, like so okay almost there and then you can uh, lift come back to this back piece and uh, let's see lift it up all the way and um, I don't know, I don't think those tab, I think that just stays like though. But here, if you can see the slots in the back and then these two tabs here, you push that in and it tabs in. So again, this they really did a great job on this figure. So now we got the back. And then this is where it's going to get a little bit challenging, but... You're going to have to pull these tires out to form a little opening. And you do that by pushing in this gray piece inward, which is kind of hard to do. It's going to be a little hard to show you on camera too, but um, you know, this is what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to push in that gray piece. So maybe I'm sticking my nail in that little slot there. And uh, this is uh, this is probably the only difficult, trust, frustrating piece of the transformation. I don't know. I think somehow you're supposed to pull this out, but really trying to push this in a gray piece in at the same time to get this uh, gap here. Ah. Uh, Okay, I don't know, let's see if that's good enough. Once you do, you, you get this nice light blue metallic paint finish in there. Um, but what you need to do is now this silver piece needs to be rotated up to form like the top of his shoulder. And I found it's easier if you just rotate his arm like so. <sighs> see, so that's pretty cool. And I know Prime versus Prime had trouble like bringing this arm down, but basically you just have to hold this. And um, at some point, um, this piece does kind of like untab, which now I'm having trouble finding that uh, untabbing piece, but I'll, I'll do it later. But. Um, for now, you have to get this silver piece up on his shoulder like that. And then his arm's kind of pointing forward. So basically, let's do the same thing again on <laughs> this side, which uh, is going to be a little bit difficult. But first, let's um, get the tire here. Okay, now I'm going to have to push this in. So let's see, 
like I said, this is the real difficult part, especially trying to get this on camera, trying to maybe get two nails in here and push this gray piece in, which I did. And then now you see that uh, light blue metallic. And then rotate this up, which is easy if you just use the arm. Okay. And then the tires form his shoulder up here, like so. So you could see the side view, something like that. And uh, now let me see if I can rotate this arm yeah it's um <laughs> now all of a sudden i cannot do it but i did do it before where um yeah maybe maybe rotate it this way yeah maybe this way and then now i think the arm nope guess not I'm not able to do it this time, but yeah, I'm encountering the same problem Prime versus Prime did, which was um, to get these arms to point down when you have these shoulder silver pieces on top of his shoulders. But anyways, let's just kind of leave them like that. And then, you know, this one, you just kind of have to adjust it um, however you think looks good position his legs so he's standing <laughs> and now we have wheelie in his robot mode so this is this is really cool i, I really like this figure this is a, a mini masterpiece so here's a look all around and this this is the only part that doesn't really tab in anywhere it just kind of hangs on his back but look at this, look at, I mean, this looks like a masterpiece wheelie, in my opinion. Oversized, by the way, because, again, we bring out Michaela. <laughs> that scale is off. So this is masterpiece quality, but it's oversized. And unfortunately, there's really nothing you can uh, do about that. So... Uh, even though this is stu studio series, this actually fits in with the masterpiece version. And then, yeah, I don't remember how to transform this, but I'm doing this now for the first time in a long time on camera. So let's see if we could transform the original. <laughs> and uh, let's see, there's pins here, so it does open up. Um, so you gotta give me a break here. Um, I didn't, I was not planning to do this, so I'm trying to figure this all out on camera here. This looks like it tabs in, right? It has, to, how do you untab that? Hmm. Oh boy. This is, uh, oh, it just extends down. And uh, let's see, there are pins here, so it looks like it has to rotate, right? It should rotate, unless, unless that's his foot. And then these look like his tiny little hands. This, um, this piece looks like uh, it has to come up to form his... Uh, shoulders and arms and then this headpiece yeah comes up okay i don't know about these feet i think i might be doing something wrong here because it i do see pins in there so you would think it this rotates but no okay so i'm just going by what i see here and i think this is it this is the uh official legends <laughs> and so let's zoom in take a close-up look here now you could see what I was talking about this is definitely masterpiece quality so here's a uh, all three of them 
This is really cool. So here's the official Legends. For a retail figure, I think that's not bad. I mean, little sculpted details, even the tires. Here, they even did the tires, but this head detail, very masterpiece. So, yeah, this is really cool. This is really nice. And uh, since I brought it out, Dr. Wu also made um, their scalpel from Revenge of the Fallen. So this one also is like a masterpiece uh, because of the scale, but it's almost like oversized because, let's move him aside and remember that scene where he was picking Sam Witwicky's uh, brain. So you can see it's oversized. But the quality of this compared to the original Scout class, um, this is uh, much better. This is uh, definitely a masterpiece along with this wheelie. So these two are like masterpiece. I did not know Dr. Wu was able to uh, make such uh, high quality figures. So anyways, that's that. That's a, a look at the Dr. Wu MC-03 Little Monster Wheelie. Oh, there he is. This guy's a legend, like, like the chairman of the board.